everyone, KK here. I hope you all are doing well today. I had the opportunity to spend a couple of days with my cousin and do some scrapbooking and some shopping. So I wanted to quickly pop on and share with you all a couple of the layouts that I created. I think I created around 11 layouts over the course of a day and a half of scrapping. And um, I think I've chosen like six or seven that I wanted to share. So hopefully this video doesn't run too long. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started. This first one is titled Just Passing Through, and basically these are two Instagram photos that I uploaded um, on the way to see some family in West Texas. And um, the journaling just says, I snapped these pictures on the way to Lubbock, and they pretty much sum up the scenery between here and there. Thank goodness for satellite radio and iPods. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it. Between here and there, there's nothing to see. So these photos pretty much sum it up. So I just wanted to put them in my scrap album because I do spend a lot of time driving from here to there. And, um, you know, it's part of my life, so I wanted to put it in my scrap album. So anyhow, the supplies that I used here, this I used a sheet of Amy Tangerine Yes Please for the background. And um, this was just for my stash. This um, orange striped paper was also for my stash. Um, I believe it's from Echo Park, Dawson Stripes Collection. And then this green mat back here, as well as this gray with the green polka dot and the kind of starburst type thing, that was from a Gossamer Blue kit. Um, and that's from Jelly Bean Designs, or Jelly, Jelly Bean Soup, I'm sorry. So, And the Polaroid frames I just purchased at Michael's. I used my Jenny Boleyn punch to do this little starburst type deal right here. And just a few um, bits and bobs from random... Gossamer Blue Kits and my stash. All right. The second layout is also of an Instagram photo. I believe most of these are. But when I uploaded this one to Instagram, I had written some text over it, so I didn't add another title. And it just says, Our Beautiful Blessing. And, um... This, most of this also came from Gossamer Blue Kits. This um, yellow and white polka dot sheet is from Echo Park Dots and Stripes, and I just had that in my stash. The rest of this paper is from Gossamer Blue Kits, and I don't remember who the manufacturer was. This sheet of washi right here, this little strip, came from a 12 by 12 sheet of Maggie Holmes um, paper, but it was actually washi tape, so I just kind of cut and um, used a few of the strips here and there. So um, this doily was from Maya Road, and I just misted it with some chartreuse color shine by Heidi Swap. These are some flowers that Kim sent me. Thank you so much again, Kim. I love them. And just some pink gems. And here's a canvas frame from Maggie Holmes for crepe paper. And just a piece of cardstock from my stash. I'm not sure if you can see the um, mist or not. This next one is another photo that had text over it, so I didn't do another title for it. This one is titled My Sweet Girl, and it's just a picture of Luca taking a nap, which she almost always is. Um, again, this is all from my Gossamer Blue kit um, from April, May, or this month. Um, just a sheet of Maggie Holmes for crepe paper for the background, and then um, this is from Dear Lizzie, I believe and some more of that washi tape that was in the 12 by 12 sheet that I just cut apart. Some more layers of, um, I believe this um, kind of polka dot with the hearts on it is from Lily B Designs, and I absolutely love that paper. I think I'm gonna have to get me some more because I just love it. Here I just used a couple of scallop circles and um, my Stampin' Up heart punch to punch out a few hearts. And this little label right here came from this month's Gossamer Blue Kit. And again, I misted it with some color shine, this time with Gold LeMay. This layout is of my coworker and I, and it's titled, What Are You Doing? And um, we were at graduation, so we're wearing these black robes. And um, 
we took these photos with my phone and we uploaded one to Instagram so I used one of the frames here and the story behind this is that we were at graduation and sometimes graduations can be so long especially if you're a teacher you you are like at the end of your rope already you're just so frazzled and ready for summer to begin and graduation is like that last thing that we have to do and um you know, we enjoy it, but it can be so long. And so we snapped these pictures and we uploaded this one to Twitter and we put, um, what are you doing along with the photo? And the kids were texting back, seeing what they were doing, taking pictures of themselves. So it was just, um, I just wanted to document that. Um, anyhow, um, this is from this month's Gossamer Blue kit. And this paper back here was for Gossamer Blue and it was designed by one of their design team members. I can't remember his name, but he designed it, as was this um, kind of blue chevron line type paper um, designed by him and just a navy blue cardstock for a mat. And these um, little slide frames or photo frames are from, I believe, Crate Paper The Pier collection but they came in my kit this month and some thickers and some more of that jelly bean soup um, you know gray with the green polka dots and here's the rest of that green piece of cardstock that I had and then just a few random tabs and stuff this right here is actually cork I bought this it's kind of a six by six pack of paper and it was just sheets of cork and I found that it was thin enough so I could punch through it so I used my Jenny Boleyn tab punch to punch that and then just some washi tape and then right here I don't think you'll be able to see but maybe you can there's a little bird so I just wanted to stick that little bird there because it was on Twitter and you know I know so cheeky I think <laughs> So here's that. This is a little flare from Dear Lizzie, and I just put some washi tape behind it. This layout is titled Time Well Spent, and basically it's just about during my birthday week, um, we had kind of a, a cookout, and um, my some friends made cupcakes and stuff like that for me and we had a cookout and so we ended up spending the evening afterwards playing games with coffee and cupcakes and um, I just thought you know time well spent was a good title for that because I think that time spent with family and friends is definitely the best way to spend my time and um, I just wanted to document that evening because I had such a great time here I just used some random I think these came, this number six and number five came from the Peer Collection um, that came with this month's Gossamer Blue Kit. This is just a random sticker that was in my stash. Another one of those slides here and some washi tape, some thickers for the numbers. I put 13 here because it's 2013. And um, all of this paper, this pattern paper, came from my Gossamer Blue Kit this month and then just some gray and craft cardstock from my stash and a random flare that I had lying around here. So again, this is an Instagram photo. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I love Instagram and I probably take 90% of my photos on Instagram. So there you go. And the last one that I wanted to share with you all kind of has a funny story. So it was time to clean up and my cousin and I were getting our stuff together. And I said, well, let's do one last thing. Let's have like a, you know, a 15 minute challenge or, and see how fast we can do a scrapbook page and let's use a sketch. So we ended up using this sketch right here that was from a, oh, it's gonna get ugly, from a scrapbook, etc. cetera, um, magazine. I'm sorry that it's like flashing, but I don't know how to fix that. Sorry. So anyway, so we decided to use that sketch right there, and um, this is what I ended up coming up with. You would think in 15 minutes I could get so much more done, but unfortunately this was all I managed to get done in 15 minutes based on that sketch. So this is my last page, and I didn't do any journaling or anything on it because I only had 15 minutes, and it took me a long time to cut these arrows out like this and to glue them down the way I wanted them to be. So anyhow, it just says delight in everyday moments and it's just a photo of myself and a friend. So that is that. 
But thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I really appreciate all your comments, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic week. I will be back tomorrow to announce the winner for the giveaway that was on the last video, and 